Hey planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. Today I am unboxing my August cloth and paper subscription box. I subscribe to the stationery and the Pinspiration box. So I'm going to show you both items, um, both stationery and the pin collection. And I will also do a pin test. I had shared before that my um, box takes a really long time to get to me. So as an example, it is September and I'm just now getting my August box. And I think that it is because UPS switches it over to Shore Post with the post office. Because this is the post office address, so it's going to the post office. Um, and then from there, they're delivering it to me, which just adds on time because it's like at the post office for a week. I don't know what all that's about, but anyway. So, um, I did go in the month before, I think it was the month before last month, and I switched from half letter to A5. Um, we've been getting things that are perfect for my self-care journal, which is A5. So I switched over and um, so far that has worked out for me. Based on the sneaks for September, I will probably keep it A5. So let me show you what I have here. We've got a Pinspiration board and it has a place for you to do your pen test on the back. I never use it for that purpose because I feel like this is like writing on something nice. And then we've got a little menu card of what's inside and then there is this August um, journaling card. Um, and it says, August, for millions of years, mankind lived just like the animals. Then something happened, which unleashed the power of our imagination. We learned to talk and we learned to listen. Speech has followed the communication of ideas, enabling human beings to work together to build the impossible. Mankind's greatest achievements have come about by talking and its greatest failures by not talking. It doesn't have to be like this. Our greatest hopes could become reality in the future. With the technology at our disposal and the possibilities are unabounded. All we need to do is make sure we keep talking. Stephen Hawking. So that's nice. Then we've got some journaling cards here as well. So we've got our October calendar. And um, got this clear card. It says the return we reap from generous actions is not always evident. This one um, is the calendar for October. And it looks like she switched it over to that clear crystal plastic. That's really nice. Then you've got the what's on your mind. Take time to reflect and grow. And then another October calendar. All right, and then we have sticky notes. You know I love sticky notes. Um, so this is graph sticky notes and they are Angora, so like an Angora base. It's like a beigey color. So the back is white and the sticky note is Angora. It's mm, beigey yellow. Kind of reminds me of, and I don't mean this in a bad way. But when paper starts to turn yellow because it's old, like that, uh, kind of like a vintage feel to it, um, that's what it reminds me of the color. So th we have the three by three, 50 sheets, and then we have palette five, graph, dot grid, and lined. Um, it does not say Angora, but it looks like it's the same color. And so you've got one set that is dot grid, the little small ones are lined, and then you've got your graph. And one of the things cloth and paper does do is put your, I don't see it on there. They usually put a color, if there's a color on the bottom, it doesn't have a color, but it looks to be the same. So 
So we've got two sets of sticky notes. I'm always here for stickies. Then we have, um, let's see, let's give it the right name. This is the half page monthly. So you've got January through December and I was looking for the description, but there really isn't one. So this is probably my only regret for A5. Um, I would rather have this for my half letter. I do use this um, at the beginning of the month section for my planner. So I will probably order some of these for half letter. Um, and I don't know if I'll use these for A5 or not. I may de-stash them or I may use them in my A5 planner. I'm sure I could find a reason to use them. We have the Space Dashboard. Um, space is one of the classic seven elements of art. Refers to the distance or area around, between, and within the components of a piece. Space can be a positive or negative, open or closed, shallow or deep, and two-dimensional or three-dimensional. Sometimes space isn't explicitly presented within a piece, but the illusion of it is. American architect Frank Lloyd Wright once said that space is the breath of art. What Wright meant was that unlike many of the other elements of art, space is found in nearly every piece of art created. Painters imply space, photographers capture space, sculptures rely on space and form, and architects build space. It's a fundamental element in each of the visual arts. Shelley Isak. So that is a nice dashboard. It's like a grayish color and it's got some dots here. It's kind of hard to see them like large circles. And I think that it's about the same size as the circle sticky notes, the larger one. So I don't know if that was intentional. Um... It just says the space dashboard provides a moment of relaxation in your planner setup while the one minute habit dashboard reminds you that every minute offers an opportunity to make a positive choice. So this is the one minute habit dashboard and you've got um, different little habits that you can practice there daily. Get out of bed right away, eat more greens, express gratitude, tidy up before bed, take breaks to move your body, check your bank account. Fix your posture, drink some water, use SPF, and so on. Um, there are October 2021 Horizontal Weekly. I mean, we're like in September. I didn't do anything with my August. So this is probably another thing where I'm like, no, I won't use this for A5. Um, but I was kind of over the horizontals anyway. I should be de-stashing them, but they're just sitting there. Note to self. Um... So, let's see, inserts, 2021 October Horizontal Weekly Inserts, keep you on track. You'll be prepared to plan ahead for events and special occasions with our flexible set of 2022 half-page monthly inserts. I'm not going to open them because my goal would be to de-stash them, but if you look at my prior videos, I did try using them for a hot minute. Um, and I like them. They were okay. It's just I prefer the vertical line weekly. Next we have the mental download inserts. And it says that they provide a way to calm the chaos and avoid being overwhelmed. Take control of racing thoughts by breaking them into actionable tasks. Okay, Lord knows I need this because my mind never stops racing. Um... And so this is an example of something that is, to me, perfect for my A5 because I want it to be like a wellness journal, um, self-care journal. And so a mental download is a great addition to that. So it looks like you've got a place for your mental download general um, and some notes. And I believe they have a YouTube video that gives you some ideas on how to use this. So then you've got a date and you can put idea one, two, and three. 
and um, there's dot grid on this side for like a visual. And that repeats on both sides. So you've got the mental download and then the ideas. And that is the entire package. And then you've got a sheet of lined paper on the back. So that, that's what the mental download consists of. And then there is also this mind map dust pad. So take your thoughts from scattered to structured with the help of the mind mapping dust pad. Place your focus in the central circle, then use that surrounding dot grid space to allow your thoughts to flow organically. Jot down next steps in the notes column and synthesize your thoughts in the reflection section. So you've got um, like a little place for a checklist here with six dots. Uh, they're hard to see. And then there's a place for notes, a place for reflection, and then your mind map. I have a pretty big size mind map from Goldmine and Coco um, that I've used a couple of times. I like the size on this because I think I can fit it into my planner better if I want to fold it and make it like a fold out page. Um, and this will be fun and useful for planning out Bliss Squad Planner sesh boxes because um, I have all these ideas all over the place. And this would be a nice like one box, flesh it out instead of doing what I'm doing right now, spending hours trying to get a journaling card to design how I need it to. And it's not. Um, but we're going to get it together in the morning so we can get them or or ordered. Okay, then we have my little mini rant. We have a um, mini sticker set. So accent your layouts with our mini sticker set in a subscriber exclusive color of Moscow. And this features six sheets of unique sticker shapes crafted from our new ultra transparent material. Convenient. This set is conveniently credit card size for ultimate portability. So these are Moscow, which I love the color. Um, and you get the dots, hexagons, squares, tape, corners, and drops and so they're transparent which I think is new it says yeah our new ultra transparent material so um, I don't know how I'm gonna like these but we're gonna try them out I'm wondering what kind of pen is best to use on them so, and I like the um uh oh we can't be messing up the dots and stuff. I like the size of them also. They're, it's very sheer. Well, here, since this one wants to... I mean, they're very sheer. Um, I like the size of them for, like it says, portability. So, like, this will work nicely on the go. It doesn't take up a lot of space at all. So, those are the mini sticker set. And that is all of the stationery. So you've got the <clears throat> mind map, the mental download, and again, I did A5 for everything, horizontal weeklies for October, the one minute habit dashboard, which also is the A5 is perfect for my wellness planner. The space dashboard, mini stickers, the <clears throat> circle sticky notes set, the 
sticky graph sticky notes and the 2022 half page monthly inserts and then the um, journaling cards so the calendar the what's on your mind card the clear calendar and the um, matte quote card is this the matte quote card or is this the matte quote card I don't know but those were all included okay so then we have our pins and I checked before I did the video and the Pinspiration blog is not up. So what we do here is we make up names for these pins because they don't have names most of the time. Um, I saw I make it up as I go and then I go look at previous month and it's like that was not the name that I gave it at all. But we work with what we have so that is what we're going to do. Okay, so first up, get all this little stopper off of here. First up, we have, we have ink all over our fingers. That's what we have first. Um, see, there's nothing, no, no markings at all. So we're going to call this the caramel pin because it's like a caramel color. I mean, I don't know. I wish they just it would include with it like a little card that tells you what the pins are. Because um, there's literally no information on it at all. So anyway, um, so this is our August sub. Oh, I like how this one writes. This is the caramel pin. And I'm going to get closer so you can see. I like that. I like it a lot. I wish I knew what its name was. Um, I would buy this pen. It's not smearing either. Yeah. Okay, like that. So we'll, we'll call that the caramel pin because it doesn't have a name. It doesn't, PD says hi, it doesn't have any markings. I mean, it's like nothing. Looks like it's gel ink, maybe 0.5. That's just me guessing. Um, so next up we have the, I don't know. It's not in English. I'm going to say the G, G, Y. Um, 0.5 millimeter, probably also gel ink. Um, okay, so this is August. I like this one too. Mm -hmm. I like it. Well, that one smears, though. I mean, that one smeared. It was good until the end. Now, if you let it dry, you're... no, because this is smearing up here, and I wrote that first, so. Eh. I like it, but I don't like that it smears. That's a deal breaker. Okay, next we have the... I don't know what the name of this is, um, but we're going to call this the strawberry pin. 0.5 millimeter. DM917Y. Oh, it's a less is more pin. We'll go with that. We're still going to call this strawberry. Okay, so. Um, I like it. It's a little, it doesn't smear, so that's a, that's, I liked this one better. But I like that this one doesn't smear, so. I 
in here for that. No smear. Less is more. 0.5 millimeter gel ink. Like it. All right, well, it's like three for three, basically. I mean, the smearing is not going to kill me. It's just not, I just wouldn't probably use it. This last one um, is white pen. Don't know the name. We're going to call it the D. Is it the same thing? No, oh, so maybe this is the less is more as well. Just white. They have the same number. D DM917M. So... Let's see what the difference is. I think this one is not, not 0.5. It's looking like it's going to be... No, it says 0.5. Okay, I don't know. I like this one too. I hit smears. Just a little bit. It. I don't think I've ever liked all of them. That dries quicker than this, this one. So, mmm. These are pins I could take to work, and if somebody like runs off with them, I'm not gonna be mad, but I like them enough that I would use them at work. Okay, last we have the, I don't know. The RP16.5 millimeter. Not a big fan of pins with caps because I lose them. But the cap can go on the top. This is like a needle point. It's the RM. Oh no, it was RP. RP16. This is probably my least favorite. I don't typically care for... I don't know what this 0.5 millimeter. I don't, I don't, I don't, this type of point is not my thing. Um, but I wonder if, let's see how this writes on a sticky. Um, it's not bleeding at all. So this is a, a transparent. This is why I'll use my page flags because I have all this difficulty. So this is the transparent page flag. Let's just say this has the cap top so I'll remember. Nope, I can already tell it wasn't going to work. And it barely writes on it, so I thought it might have been good for that, but um negative. Let me just check. One of my little friends over here. Nope. Not, none of these either. I'm always still looking. I just need to stick with like microperm. And even that's not the best on here. Work on my patients, I guess, and that would help. Um, don't at me. I have uni pen. This is a uni pen. It's not a microverb. Um, but anyway, so for pen test, I like these these four, which um, I think this is the first time I've liked that many of them, and um, this one smears though whatever the name of this pen is. Um, I think both of these are the less is more. They look identical. One is just white and one is pink, but one says less is more and one doesn't. So I don't know. We'll find out all the names later. So that is the Simply Gilded August subscription box. Let me know what you think. What is your favorite thing? Um, my favorite thing is the sticky notes.
close second would be the mind map. So I'm looking forward to using these goodies. I will see you probably in October to unbox the September cloth and paper subscription box. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn more about cloth and paper today. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below. Comments are always welcome as well. I try to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!